All right, we're going to continue the puzzle series, and this time I have a series of four dives uh, setups that I want people to think about, right? And I don't think there's necessarily one correct option, but I just want to talk through what I would do in the situation. So this is the very start of Mumbani. We're playing Winston here. Uh, we're going to be on offense. Uh, again, we have jump here and we have bubble, and this is the enemy setup. Okay, this is this is what you see as, as the enemy setup. The question is, right now, as Winston, what would you do? So I'm going to pan back. You can see that you know Mercy's up here, Mora's with us, uh, Genji's over here, and then we also have a Hanzo. Sigma in front, uh, Baptiste on point, Torb over here, uh, and then there's also a Mercy and a Widow, and the turret just got destroyed. So what would you do here as Winston? And I'll give you five seconds to think about it. So again, I'm going to get pan back here because this is really the, the angle that's helpful. Give you a few seconds to think about it. Okay, so I'm going to run through uh, probably the most obvious option is to jump the, the Sigma. I don't think that's high value in the situation because the Sigma has a shield. Uh, it's going to stop the Hanzo from doing any damage to him. You're going to have to put bubble in order to stay here at all, and that's going to waste your bubble, and it's going to be on cooldown, and you're not going to get too much done here. I don't think it's necessarily good value. What I would do is I would jump on high ground right now and play back, right, here or here, somewhere over here, not peeking the corner yet, right, and just kind of wait. Right? Maybe the Sigma pokes me a little bit. I try to try to, to chill, right? And then get my cooldown, and then I jump right here. And I want to focus the Widow slash Mercy. The Torb is going to be on the left, and then I'm going to bubble off. Obviously, this changes completely if the Torb is over here, but even then, not necessarily too much, right? I can jump, keep the Torb on one side of the bubble, bubble dance, and then jump back to main or high ground or whatever I need to do. That's what I would do in this situation. I don't think it's a great dive situation, but the thing is, Sometimes, especially in Numani first, which is quite a hard point to take, you need to do something, right? You can't just stand there and be like, oh, like, what am I going to do about it? And, 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 and just sit indecisively. You need to try something. So that option, I feel like, is not going to get me killed. It's going to create some work, create a little bit of space, right? Force them to back up a little bit, and I can kind of work from, work from there. So let's cover the second dive situation. Again, all these are going to be five on five, right? All, all, all of my teammates are alive, I think. So... Right here, uh, I position myself to the left. Let's imagine that I do have, uh, I do have jump right now. Um, actually, where did I jump to? Right here. Okay. So I have jump. I have jump. I have bubble. Right. Uh, I've lost my uh, Hanzo, but Hanzo is getting res right now. And here with Genji, right? You see Mercy, Mora back there. I don't have any supports with me. Torb high ground. Turrets here. Widows here. What would you do? All right. So again. Step back a little bit, give you five seconds to, to think about where you would die. So in this case, to me, it becomes very obvious that I would dive front. I, I don't think there's any correct option that is not diving the front line. The front line is super overextended here. They're way too far forwards. Okay? I can get so much damage in here, right? Especially if the Genji decides to come with me. I can get so much damage in here. Even the Hanzo doesn't get res, I would still do this exact same play. I jump into them, I bubble, I bubble dance, zap, 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 zap. I can even grab the Mega there. If they try to go in for the Mega, great. That means they're never getting out of here alive, right? I can play in here with the Mercy all day. The rest of the team is totally useless, and probably the Baptiste dies here, right? And the Sigma gets out at half health. And that's probably a fight winning play if I do this dive. All right, 248. So, 248, where am I? I'm gone main. Um, this, is, uh, this is actually the only scenario that's going to be uh, 5 on 4, right? So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up. They have everybody up except for the Baptiste, who was right here, and he just died after putting up window. So right now, again, I have bubble. Well, I have bubble in a second, right, in a second and a half, right? I have bubble, and I have jump. What do I do here? Right? Obviously, one of my options could be do nothing, if that's your choice. Maybe a little bit of a leading question, but you could choose to simply cover because you're like, hey, it's window. I don't want to mess with window. I'm just going to cover. So I'll give you a few seconds to think about it. Okay, so some people might have noted that the Torb is very low up top. However, I don't know that I would know that as Winston from the angle that I had. Obviously, I didn't play you the whole clip before this, but I don't know that I would know that, that the Torb was injured up there, but... Most importantly, I'm never going to get an angle to get to him. In order to get to the Torb, I'd have to walk to this corner and then jump up. 
there's no way with the bubble up that I'm going to survive walking to this corner. <laughs> so the only way for me to get there is I'd have to bubble really, really early and then try to jump up with no bubble, which I think is extremely dangerous and not a good idea, right? Also, Torp could simply just walk off, um, and, and that would be problematic. The Mercy's also here, and she might jump to him and heal him at any moment in time. I think that's reckless. So I think option number one is simply to hide. But the problem is then you give up the, the spawn advantage of the Baptiste, because he'll, he'll get back. I mean, not the whole way, but at least some of the way. So, but I think it is a viable option to do nothing. I don't think it's the best option. I think the best option right now is to jump this way towards the point and put down bubble and then zap them all like this, right? With no Baptiste, they have far less sustain. It's only the Mercy there. Widow can't do any damage to me, right? The Sigma can sort of do damage, but with the bubble, it's going to mess them up really, really badly. I can stay here. I can zap, 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 zap. I can drop the other starter cart, like crouch, you know, wiggle around here, and then reset back to main when I need to. Also, it gives my team space to advance because there's no way they're going to be shooting at my team through window if I land right here on top of them with bubble down zapping. And I think that's a really good opportunity to try to open up this fight. Last fight, 329. Reset just a little bit. Right here. So Widow's up here. Uh, did she have grapple? She just used grapple. Uh, she's got the mercy on her. Torb in the back. Uh, Sigma, Baptiste right here. So I have all five teammates alive. They're all basically more or less in position. Hansel's a little far back. So looking at this lineup as the Winston with jump and bubble, what do you do? I'll give you a few seconds to think about it. Okay, so in this situation, I think it's pretty clear. I zap, I step forward, I zap the Widow a little bit just to get her to the drop, right? I, there's no way that I kill the Widow of Mercy here. It's impossible, like basically mathematically impossible for a Winston to kill a pocketed, uh, a Mercy pocketed character. He just doesn't do enough damage. So I'm <laughs> zapping here mostly just force the, the Widow and the Mercy back, right? They're probably going to drop low ground. Then I want to either just drop down here on the Baptiste or do a short jump over here onto him. Either one is fine depending on, on where the Widow situation is when she drops down. And I want to preferably, if I do the short jump, which is really the, the best possible case scenario, I do the short jump, I land behind the Baptiste, bumping him towards my team, then I bubble off and zap the Baptiste and the Sigma. And from there, that should result in the Baptiste dying. Because the Baptiste and Sigma are once again overextended in this situation. I do not want to dive the Torb. Especially at full health, but even if he is at half health, Overlord Torb can absolutely destroy Monkey. It's like not even close. He will he will wreck you so fast, unless you're amazing at bubble dancing. He will kill you really, really, really quickly. So I don't want to jump the Torb here, even though he is alone, right? But I can't, that's not a good matchup for me. And again, I can't kill the Widow because pocket, uh, Mercy Pockets cannot die to, to Winston. And I can't kill the Mercy here because she has so many options to get away. So I'm really just zapping to prevent her from getting LOS on anyone, particularly good. Then I drop down force this fight right here, which is probably going to win me the fight. Cool. That concludes this puzzle. Hopefully it was helpful.